So this is, I, I caught this uh, story in Digiday. Uh, Max Willens is the, is the reporter who, um, who is reporting on a trend of journalists starting their own newsletters. So, um, you know, the, just as it says that just as media companies have understood the power of having newsletters, uh, now reporters are seeing them as a tool as well to obviously communicate directly with readers. Uh, they're using them to test out new ideas and nurture their obsessions, quote unquote, in the article. Um, but some of them, some of them are treating their newsletters as a kind of aggregator of their own work. Um, others use them to sound out their ideas with their readers and and uh, and maybe take those, get those ideas uh, fleshed out and and bring them back to uh, as as article ideas to pitch to their editors. Um, a number of full-time journalists are joining uh, Substack. Uh, that number has been growing, according to the co-founder and chief operating officer, Hamish McKenzie of, of Substack. And then apparently the same thing is happening with uh, with the platform Re Review, uh, according to their CEO, Mar Martin, Marjean, Marjean D. I'm, I can't even pronounce the name, I'm sorry. Um, but... The article doesn't, neither of them have hard data. It's just an observation. It is an observation I've been making as well. One of my favorite uh, of Minnesota Vikings beat reporters, Matthew Collar, uh, was a local, worked with the local ESPN affiliate. Um, he wrote for their website, hosted radio shows, their podcast. Um, he was laid off as a result of the pandemic and started his own Purple Insider newsletter on Substack. Uh, it's a newsletter and a podcast. There's a free version, uh, and it's it's one article a week. The podcast is really good because he's a beat reporter of the Vikings. He has all the contacts, and so he has great guests. Um, but then you can buy a buy a subscription version for fifty six dollars a month or five sixty um, a, uh, a a month uh, or fifty six dollars a year, five sixty a month, and. Um, and so it's it's a way for him to obviously survive. My question is, uh, he's a very talented uh, sports reporter, probably get picked up by somebody eventually. What happens to my subscription when that happens, right? Uh, so there's that. But um, but I probably should buy the subscription just to support him because he's he's very good. Uh, but it's it, it it's interesting. Substack really makes it easy for all of the the e-commerce and stuff is built in. So it really makes it easy for these new these journalists who are you know fighting for for their their lives really with their economic situation, many of them, uh, to earn some money on the side or or uh, build their own audience. So interesting development there.